Hi there and welcome to Apple World. Obviously, things have taken a dim turn for Diddy while his secured sources are asserting that he's been genuinely stung in jail after a supposed assault by an individual mate. Insiders are saying that he was focused on by somebody associated with a famous posse and presently he's battling for his. Life in concentrated care, is this truly happening, could quite possibly, of the most strong figures in the diversion industry, really be confronting such a hard the truth we should separate everything and Get into what could have prompted this client's portray NBC as damnation as absolutely terrible conditions they've been in leading recalling that Diddy is significant current circumstance isn't simply one more VIP outrage, this is a man who's been blamed for some really troublesome things charges that have shaken both the music world and the public's inside of him. After his capture it turned out to be clear that Diddy wasn't simply managing lawful issues, he's turned into a potential danger to the individuals who were once nearest to him, we're discussing long stretches of asserted crime that could uncover insider facts inside the most elevated circles of media outlets, and presently somebody obviously needs him hushed before he spills everything, and Stacy, you say the present prosecution. Peruses like a crowd prosecution what was generally surprising to you of every one of these claims. Definitely the reality, Jake, that the government in this arrest introduced proof asserting that Sean Cones was running a criminal undertaking the way that Diddy was gone after, in jail adds a totally different layer of show. Jail insiders have depicted the spot where Diddy is being held the Metropolitan Confinement Community in Brooklyn as a famously hazardous and troubling office. It's known for stuffing viciousness and terrible everyday environments, some prominent detains like Gan Maxwell and R. Kelly have been held. There and it's a long way from the rich life Diddy was utilized to be tossed into such a climate, particularly even his status was consistently going to be hazardous, and presently after this claim doc. Erwin it appears as though Diddy's most terrible bad dream is working out is gonna command that they are liable for your prosperity, they need to guarantee the security of your prosperity, bits of hearsay are whirling that somebody with profound associations with the criminal hidden world was behind the assault expecting to send Diddy a reasonable message, keep your mouth closed. The rationale behind this is pretty basic. Diddy's been engaged with the industry for a really long time, and throughout that time he's probably assembled soil on a portion of the most impressive and compelling individuals, and compelling individuals in music amusement, and past these aren't just small-time players, we're talking about people who might have each motivation to need their mysteries covered, and assuming Diddy begins talking the aftermath could be devastating. Now we should not disregard why Diddy's in jail. To start with, the charges against him are serious, with charges going from dealing to racketeering. When he was captured, it wasn't simply some spike of the second thing. It followed months, if not long, stretches of examination by government specialists who were clearly constructing an unshakable body of evidence against him. What had been assembled for this situation was from those two attacks that were led on his individual homes in Miami and Los Angeles. Also, the prosecution names that, um, the thing held on to that is that he supposedly made recordings of these exhibitions, as those have been named freak-offs. What's intriguing is that Diddy wasn't simply unobtrusively arrested, he was purportedly agreeable and, surprisingly, anticipated the charges having moved to New York ahead of his capture. This makes it seem like Diddy realized what was coming and perhaps figured he could deal with the circumstance. However, as we can see now, things have spiraled beyond his control to me. This sounds like an extremely harmful work climate. What is your interpretation of that? However, I mean, this is unlawful. Conduct, you can't put hands. This is battery. It's criminal battery. The jail where Diddy is being held in the Metropolitan Detention Community is scandalous for its horrifying circumstances. Furthermore, it's no big surprise that somebody with Diddy's notoriety could confront genuine risk there. The put has been called terrible by a few previous detainees and accounts of savagery blackouts. Frozen temperatures and restricted admittance to clinical consideration are all important for the office's well-established issues now. So what is next? Is he going to be in prison in this office until the preliminary starts? Is there an opportunity he could, you know, get moved sooner than that as of this second, as of this hour starting today? Yes, obviously, as I referenced before, they will be engaging this thing, um, close to the second U.S. Circuit Court of Requests to upset the appointed authorities organization here to attempt to get him really delivered. Rough quarrels and even fatalities inside the jail have stood out as truly newsworthy in ongoing years. In 2019, the office was dove into mayhem during a power outage that left prisoners in all-out murkiness and freezing conditions for almost seven days. 
This episode prompted fights and a resulting examination by the branch of equity. The issues at the office remain generally unsettled. He won't go to jail for the time that they need to give him. If he begins giving them something, add to that the way that the jail is harshly set up, working with just about a big part of the important workforce, and it's clear that protecting Diddy in such an environment was continuously going to be a challenge given his setting. The thought that somebody figured out how to get to Diddy inside the jail begins to make a great deal more sense. It's not just about poor people's conditions, it's likewise about the jail's notoriety for being where things can occur. Shut does absent a lot of oversight. They have party individuals who need to make up stuff, yet they got individuals who were that, that was an observer. What's more, talking about it. Prominent detainees like Diddy frequently have focuses on their backs, and with his considerable rundown of adversaries and previous partners, the stakes are much higher. We should not fail to remember what U.S. local judge Robin Tarnowski said when denying Diddy's bail. She made it understood that Diddy's set of experiences of brutality, his associations, and his monstrous abundance made him a critical flight chance and a risk to the local area. The adjudicator's choice to keep him secured until his preliminary depended on worries that he could attempt to impede equity or scare observers. Is he controlling? Indeed, he is. Will he put his hands on a female? Yes, he will. Would he put his hands on a male maker? Anything, yes, he will. And presently, with these most recent advancements, it seems like those concerns were legitimate. His insight into other strong figures in the business and their contribution to criminal operations might actually lead to a gigantic disentangling of mysteries. Diddy's capture came after a broad government examination, which included serving many subpoenas, executing various court orders, and gathering a massive measure of advanced proof. The way that government examiners have spoken around many terabytes of information connected with the case recommends that this isn't just about Diddy himself. There's a bigger trap of people and activities involved. Examiners have highlighted the truth that Diddy's business realm was utilized as a front for crimes with a well-established example of misuse, abuse, and terrorizing his previous sweetheart. Cassie, for instance, was a focal figure in one of the claims that started off this entire examination. Cassie's claim which was documented in late 2023, portrayed long stretches of physical and profound torture, and keeping in mind that that case was settled secretly, the charges against Didi kept on stacking up, yet significantly more agitating were the reports of secret. Cameras at his scandalous gatherings where high-profile figures from the media outlet were supposedly found on tape, taking part in splitting the difference exercises. These tapes, on the off chance that they exist, could be the way to figuring out why so many influential individuals would need to see Diddy hushed in vision the sort of data that may be covered in those accounts, and it turns out to be clear why Diddy's life could be in serious peril if you pay. Those legal counselors to realize those legal counselors understand what he's going to beat, and those legal advisors understand what he won't beat for a really long time. Diddy's luxurious way of life was the stuff of legend, from his extravagant homes in Los Angeles and Miami, to his infamous parties on Star Island. He was known for pushing limits and making a culture of overabundance. However, underneath all the fabulousness and allure, there were dependably murmurs of something hazier, bits of gossip about obscure transactions, secret coalitions, furthermore, a fierce attitude followed him all through his profession, and presently, it looks like that may all make up for lost. Time with him. In addition to the fact that he should have apologized to Cassie in that video, he ought to have apologized to all of the overall population that he deceived. The government's prosecution against Diddy is an unmistakable sign of exactly how profound these charges are. Go examiners have denounced him of capitalizing on his leverage to make an organization of people who were not simply complicit in his exercises, yet effectively engaged with assisting him with keeping up with control over his realm, so there are some issues that the guard has raised initially. However, it appears that just from perusing this 14-page prosecution that there is enough physical proof to maybe get a conviction. In this case, we will see these are claims that this wasn't just about bringing in cash. It was about power control. What's more, guaranteeing that nobody could ability him without confronting the results and presently with all of his potential. Subscribe Apple World for more videos.